Hi friends, it's Vicki Booten here at scrapbook.com for American Crafts, and I'm excited to share one of my new products with you, uh, Vicki Booten watercolor markers. So um, these are all in my color palette. They have colors like mint julep and blue Hawaiian, watermelon burst, juicy pear, crushed pineapple, orange slice, coral macaroon, cotton candy, sugared strawberry, cherry tart, plum pudding, and blueberry pie. So you have a great mix of colors in there. And there's 12, that's 12 different colors. And I'm gonna show you a couple of little things and then a quick and easy technique on how I like to use them. They are heavily pigmented dye based markers and they pack a lot of punch. There's tons of pigment in these. Anytime I open up a brand new mixed media or art uh, product, I like to swatch the colors out. So I've done that here and you can see how vibrant these are because it really is my jam, right? I like lots of color. Color Kaleidoscope is full of color because I love rainbows and butterflies. So I went through and put all the colors on a little um, swatch sheet that will fit into my junk journal. So that's the idea, because you know the junk journal I don't only use as a mini book, but see, I have stuff thrown in here. I can just punch holes and I have a reference. And I think that that is really helpful because this is the colors right out of the markers, but you most definitely could blend these. I blended them when I was playing around with them and made tons of beautiful colors. I'm gonna show you this super fun, super easy technique using the uh, watercolor markers. And that's the thing I love about it is that it's art made easy. So let me show you the layout I made and then I'm gonna step you through the techniques to get this outcome. So this is my boy, and this is a bunch of product from the new Color Kaleidoscope release, but look at these background circles. And this is one of those things I love to do, find found objects that I can make art with. So guess what we're gonna use for this? A cup, a plastic cup, you can find that. You can borrow one from Starbucks. <laughs> or go to the dollar store and get some plastic cups, foam cups, anything that has a smooth ring on it will make this background. Or even if you have a set of circle stamps, you could totally use that as well. So um, let's get right into this. The background I use for this is my foundations paper because I like the weight of it and it holds the pigments really well. So I'm going to grab, I cut a sheet so I can fit this again in my junk journal where I like to store all of those things so it can be like a technique, um, little technique tag that I have for reference when I want to go and make something. So one tip I want to share with you because I wish that I would have known it when I first started was when you get your watercolor markers and um, a lot of brands will have this little safety feature on it. They have these little rings and I thought it was just a pretty part of the marker. It's not, it's actually a functional thing. When you um, open these up, this ring is here so that the product's not actually leaking into the reservoir and into the tip. So when you get these, you have to go through, unscrew the lid, take the little ring out, and then put it back in nice and tight. And then when you go and press where it says push, see you can see push there, the pigment or the um, watercolor will come into the barrel in through the reservoir and out to the tip. Make sure that you don't squeeze it too hard because there's tons of pigment in this um, watercolor ink and it will go everywhere and you're wasting your product. You don't need to, a little drop goes a long way. And this, if you're nervous to start, cause I, not, I don't think the first thing I should show you is how to use these directly um, on a stamped image or to watercolor a background because that can be a little overwhelming and I want this to be art for everyone. So if you've been nervous to try these, this is going to be super fun, easy way to use watercolor markers. So let's pick an easy color palette. Something though that you'll see maximum um, impact. I'm gonna go in with, I think this is sugared, yeah, sugared strawberry. So you will take the lid off and mine, I've used them already. So the tip is already colored. You just wanna get a little squeeze and I even squeeze it to the cup because you don't wanna waste any of it but just a little squeeze and then you'll get this little bead of color. And I'm just literally painting the rim of the cup. Oops, and inside the cup a little, okay? And then you're just going to take that and kiss it to your page, okay? 
So let's go in. And you could leave it like this, but wait till I show you what I'm going to show you because it's going to be super exciting. So I'm going to go in with another color just to have a little bit of contrast. So look at even just cleaning that off. Look how much pigment you get off there. So when I'm painting with these, like say you want to um, go in and paint a stamped image, I will put it on a plastic um, palette and then just pick up my pigment from the palette and I find that a little drop goes a long way. So just keep that in mind. I don't want you to waste your product. Save your money to buy something else that you want to add to your scrapbooking or mixed media toolbox. So I'm going to go in with the blueberry pie because I think that'll be a nice contrast color. So again, just quickly rim the cup, add that, and then I'm going to show you the magic. Watch when this happens. It's so much fun. Okay. So these are also super water reactive. Put your lids on so you don't stick your arm in it. So when I go in here now in mist, and this isn't watercolor paper, like I said, I just put this right on foundations. You most certainly could use it on watercolor paper. Look at that. Oh, it's so much fun. How easy is that technique? So this is one of those things too when I do resist the temptation to move it around or I wouldn't even heat gun it. Just leave it to dry or you could take a piece of paper towel and kiss it to the top. So just take the paper towel if you want and just kind of, but you don't have to do this like I'm showing because maybe you're impatient. But just to get the moisture off and then set it aside to dry. But look how fun that is. So imagine card maker or if you um, are doing layouts or whatever you're doing, or just for fun, it's something you could do with the kids, just remembering that this does not wash off as easily as other products that I have um, in my collection. This one is dye-based, so um, yeah, it's there. When it's on there, it's there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Here's the layout again. Super fun and super easy to make. Um, this is one of those simple, simple mixed media techniques with the new watercolor markers in Color Kaleidoscope. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.